the back row. a really good year for me. It's, it's my best year in athletics I've ever had, you know. I, I moved coaches in March last year. We managed to turn it around for Rio um, and my time started to come down but this year we really kind of saw those benefits. I run my fastest times, I was loaded up for all of them, I made sure that I was always heavy in the weight room in the week before. And then for the championships I showed that I, I was in really good form and unfortunately a little bit of cramp got me for that final so I didn't go for a time but I was so incredibly amazed to kind of win that race back where it all started for me in 2012. But, uh, it depends how drunk I am, it's the thing. I, I found out last night that I still have to be quite drunk to dance on my own. It's the spontaneity of dancing that I find tricky. You You're sober though on the show, right? Uh, most of the time, apart from last night. Yeah. <laughs> so look. I don't know, like we just honestly, it's what we do back at home, like Taekwondo is growing so much and GB, as, especially the girl group, we're just pushing up more and more and Jay Jones started off with um, Olympic gold medals in London and Rio and like, we've just built it more and more and this year like I made a bit of history in Taekwondo and it's just nice for like the country to get behind it and the world to get behind the sport and for me to be here today in a non-Olympic year, um, for Taekwondo to be out there and myself is, is just phenomenal. I can't wait to go out there because everyone in there is going to be from Liverpool and um, I just can't be like, ah. so. no, I never saw the show I got I got I got my friend saying you should do it you should do it get people to see the real side of you and I was like all right then I'll check it out when I went there I thought I honestly thought that we're going to be sleeping in hotels we're going to be looked after but guess what it was nothing like that when I see my bed I go is this where I'm going to be sleeping they go yeah so I go well, but where's the where's the where's the roof and everything they said there's no roof here mate you're sleeping outside I saw a boxing in Next year? Yeah. Right. When? Next year's a big year for me. So next year's a very big year for me. Uh, I took a year out because I'm a hand operation. I'm 31 now, top of my game. Uh, still in the top 10 in the world and it's all about getting the big fights in and winning another world title before I call it a day. So it's, it's a very big year for me next year and I'm going to be fighting, fighting a lot more, a lot often. And hopefully get a fight in the UK because it's been a couple of years now. When, when you get back in the ring? End of March. It's a, bit of a, it's a bit of a break. Like Fights are already happening like two to three times a year now. So I think they're quite... They're quite like serious events now, and I, I want to fight for another championship belt. So end of March should be a time to that like, give enough time for my opponent to get ready and enough time for me to get ready. In the UK, and it's up to him to kind of get himself back on the gravy train. So calling someone out is irrelevant when we don't know if you're going to live up to your actions um, at this present time. I'm sure he will, but at this present time, he's saying he needs warm-up fights. So tune into what's important and then focus on the bigger picture. You know, that's your strategy. I think he's got, like, let's say he's got a two-year plan. He needs to think about working back. He's already calling out my name when he hasn't gone through the stages that he set himself out. So. Uh, me and Fiori, yeah, listen, we'll have to see. I've got to get made the fifth out the way first. And if it doesn't happen, then, you know, all my attention turns straight to him. He's got a few issues going on still at the moment. Uh, if, if the two, you know, I just want to see him back in a boxing ring. Yeah, I'd love to be his first fight back. Because you know, it'll be the quickest comeback in the history of boxing if you come back against me. Life and talk. Anthony